And three, two, one, boom. And we're back in another episode of Scratch Gamers. This episode is sponsored by Zen Real Clothing Co. ZenRealClothingCo.com. Art with a message. Is that, did you like that? Yeah, that was pretty good. Cool. Uh, I know, right? I was kind of like, how am I going to say this? And then that's just what came out. <laughs> so we have our first sponsor, ZenRealClothingCo.com. Um, Check them out. Uh, use the offer code SG Podcast, all capitals for 20% off your purchase. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So hit that up. Art with a message. Um, so this is, an, this is a uh, movie review. We checked out, I don't know, the Ad Astra? Yeah. Okay, cool. I kept messing that one up. I was like, what is this called? Like, Ad Astra. Ad Astra. Ad Astra. I don't know Ad if I'm Astra. saying it correctly, but that's what it is. Is it Ad Astra or like Ad Astra? Ad, uh, it's two words, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. So Ad Astra. Anyways, so it's the new Brad Pitt film. Um, it's about space uh, and all that great stuff. Yeah. So as always with movie reviews, we're going to score it, talk about it, score it again, see if we sway each other's opinion. And uh, that will give you some insight as to whether you should go check out the movie or not. Right. Yeah. So what did you score, Vish? Um, it's very difficult to say. That was a difficult movie. Difficult movie, yes. But I don't know, maybe uh, maybe a seven. Oh, wow. Maybe wow. Is, that, is that high? I thought you were gonna say six. I was like, I just probably go for maybe? six. Maybe like I, I know I'm still seven. Damn. I don't know. I'm still. We're out here with a seven. I feel right. seven is low for me. Really? Any movie that's a seven is a low. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to score it yeah. a four. Okay. Yeah, I'm going I'm to give it a four. Mm-hmm. Uh, how many times did you fall asleep? That once. That, that one you time. nudged me. Yeah, because I saw you, but, but I saw you like battling it earlier. And then yeah. I was like, let me look back at this dude, see if he actually <laughs> fell asleep. And then you fell asleep. I was like, dude, wake up, bro. We got to review this. Yeah. So yeah, I was yeah. like, yeah. That, okay, so at that scene, I just finished my popcorn, and I guess it was that digestion. But then, as like the tone of the music was very a sleepy tone. <laughs> I guess I fell asleep as well. I was battling not falling asleep. I think I fell asleep twice, but I was battling to not fall asleep. Right. Um, I think I checked, and my sister fell asleep twice. <laughs> uh, I think your brother said he fell asleep as well at the end. He was like having a yeah, hard time. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so it was a sleepy movie. Um, that's why I gave it a four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it it really did have a lot of good points to it, mm-hmm. you know. So I felt that. Um, okay, as a as a ma- like as a movie for the masses, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not a commercial movie, but it is like it's an art piece, like you were it's, saying. It's yeah, it's more like an art piece. That's probably why I'm giving it like that kind of number. The seven, yeah, because you love your art piece movies. Yeah, but like I was, I like we got a coffee afterwards, and I'm still tired. Like we're <laughs> we're we're like recording this post. Um, Just after finishing it, basically. Yeah, so and I'm like kind of tired still because like that movie is so draining. It was just long. It just felt like like a mission. I know it was only two hours, but it was like it felt like four. I think so. Like I like the first half of it because. No, the first half was good. When we were getting into it, I was pretty excited. I was like, oh, wow. And yeah, the then, first half, it, it did, like, even though it started a bit slow, but there was, like, a lot more things happening. Totally. Yeah. So. And, and I was like, I was like, oh, I, I kept thinking we're going to see an alien. So I was, like, getting excited. Mm-hmm. But then by the end of it, I was just like, oh, my God, dude. Like, nothing happened. Like, yeah, some stuff happened, but it's just like, I was so happy they didn't show his return back to Earth. That would have been so The dry. longest <laughs> Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> Like, at least they just, like, they, like, he used the nuclear system to propel himself to Earth, and, like, that was it. I was like, thank God. They just jumped straight to the end. Yeah, when he... Because it was so boring. Yeah. Well, they, there's nothing else to show in between other than him sleeping. It, no, I thought they were going to do, like, a contemplation. I don't think... You I know, think like, that's... so, so I am back on Earth. You know how they did the whole over-narrative thing? Right, right. I thought right. they were going to do something like that, like a yeah. wrap-up over-narrative, and mm-hmm. just do this so damn long. I mean, all right, so let's go through what we like about the movie. So, in the beginning, it was just, like, it was, like, a huge antenna sticking out from Earth. That was so space. I thought that cool. was kind of cool. That was so cool. I was, like, 
that's one of the things like I could see so this like, I think, in the future. Yeah, the positives in in this is I would say more like visually yeah, is totally. very very nice. Totally, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And and I really liked how it was giving you a really good glimpse into what the future would look like, like that antenna thing. Yeah, sure, that might actually happen in the future. Um, but it was the. I wanted to ask that. That was actually one of the what I was thinking. Like how. Because they didn't have a specific date, so how far in the future... Yeah, they just said in the future. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How far in the future you think we would be in that kind of spot? True, I don't know. Would that be 20 years? True, yeah. Right? I, I like that. What would your guess be? 40. 40 years in the future. Okay. Yeah. yeah. To get phones that have uh, see-through displays? Is it? Yeah. And, um, and uh, commercial flights to the moon. Yes, I thought that was so cool. I, like every time I saw it when they were saying that, like uh, it was like it was like a flight. Remember, he's like, "I'll purchase the." Yeah, I just kept rest, remembering like, uh, SpaceX and what their yeah, mission. No, is. totally. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking too. That's what I was thinking too. That's why I was like, "Oh, this is what it'll be like." Yes, you know. <laughs> that's like, exactly what I was thinking. Hey, I'm your pilot today. Your seat is third from the left. Yeah, and he's like, "I'd like to purchase the uh, pillow and blanket." You know, mm-hmm. it's like, oh, dude, like. For real though, like that—that that is what would happen, right? Yeah, yeah, I really liked it. Oh yeah, that was that was cool. That was cool. And then the space wars, like there was a lot. I liked the philosophy in this movie. That was really cool. Where they talked about like humans like going after resources, like we're mm-hmm. Earth eaters. Yeah. And then um, uh, it was saying like how they were fighting for resources, and there were moon pirates. Yeah. Well, the Maya, yeah, whoever. Like, controlling yeah. the, the mines and stuff. And then they were mining for resources. Like, I told, I agreed with that whole thing. I was like, yeah. this is a sick um, expression. Yeah. Interesting. So, yeah, for the future. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. Um, but that's pretty much all I liked. <laughs> and the <laughs> visuals, too. So, like, yeah, exactly. But that, that was all in the beginning of the movie, right? Yeah, totally. All of that was in the beginning and. And it just tapered off into sadness. Mm, yeah. Uh, well. <laughs> slowness it's just like which yeah, then uh, became sadness yeah. because i was like oh my god what am i doing here right uh like uh even the, the mars bits was kind of interesting yeah totally uh, totally oh that all right so like i'd like to uh quickly transition to the global climate summit that i attended yesterday mm-hmm. uh so like one of the signs that i kept seeing was like there's no planet b but then watching that movie, I was like, Oh, no. that's what you were talking about. I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were saying like in the movie there was No, something. no, 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 no. There's oh, like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like there were people holding signs like there is no planet B. But then like watching the movie, I was like, No, there is a B and a C, bro, because we can go to the moon and we can go to Mars. But then I like the how it's not technically a planet, but yeah. No, but you know what I mean, Arctic like we, we can off world. Yeah. Um I liked that in the movie. I mean that's we would be going okay, so in in, in that sense, like we talked about that a little bit, was like uh we, we would be, again, nomads, right? We would yeah, be, totally. That would, yeah. that would be us doing exactly what we were doing before. They, but that's why I like what the philosophy in the movie was when he's like, we're world eaters, because that is what we do. We like mm-hmm. we extract the resources from one planet, and then we just move on to the next. Yeah. Like, we are like a cancer, you know? Like, if you look at what right, a cancer right. is, like, it overconsumes, kills the host, and moves on. Yeah. But I guess, like, cancer doesn't really move on. So, like, we're more like a virus. We're not really like a cancer. Right. Because well, the, the, the virus, would like, die consumes. Along with it. Yeah. yeah. But then, like, the virus can spread, right? So, you know, we're more like a virus than a cancer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not in a negative way. I mean, like, all nature. No, no, no. Like exactly. Cancer. Exactly. I mean, is the virus, when we get sick, is that, uh, like, is that something like it's thinking? No, it's just, that's just what it has to do. Yeah, totally. That's what it totally. does. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah, totally. Yeah, for sure. And I, I like you know, in a in a yeah, in an organic sense. I don't know what's that word. Like in a, in a bigger picture sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, I like I I thought that was cool how he was talking about the loneliness of us because like, in all of the worlds that he found, like there is no conscious life elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Yes, that was near right near the end, and basically. Like within home, or that's where it is. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. But why did that make you so sad? Like that guy was going crazy after. Like we don't want to be alone in the universe. Who cares? Actually, no. Like when Brad Pitt said that thing, he's like, "No, you you didn't fail because it just showed us that we're all we've got." Right. And I was like, "Okay, that, that makes sense. Yeah, we gotta like band together because it's just us mm-hmm. as a species. Like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You know. But like, so like ultimately, enlightenment is perspective, right? Like 
to be enlightened, you have to like have some sort of perspective that will change your behavior, right? Right. But like, not everyone is going to be able to like see Earth from that point of view because we're not all space pilots. Mm -hmm. You know, when he said like, "Oh, we're all we've got," like, yeah, it's great for you. So now the rest of your life, you're going to be thinking like, "Oh, it's just me and you, buddy." So I got to be nice to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then like the other people are just like, "Shut up, bro." You know what I mean? <laughs> like, not everyone's gonna gain that perspective. Yeah. So. It's like, see, it's like, when I see movies like that, it's just like, it just reminds me of the over-attachment towards one side and not looking at, like, the duality of the situation. Just like, it is what it is, man. Like, just go to your mission. If you fail, you fail. You know? Yeah, but yeah. he was so, like, distraught with it. It's like, oh, come on, bro. No, but sometimes you maybe you need that. Like, but I, I guess generally for a story you got to have someone that's more extreme on that true, way, right? true, 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 yeah. i don't know how i like how they do in the psych evals oh yeah yeah speaking yeah. of what <laughs> speaking of which like that's kind of cool like the like i mean even with brad pitt not having oh you always reached like you didn't go more than this whatever heart beat thingy yeah, yeah, yeah. like to handle stress and stuff like that so calm yeah, yeah yeah but then it's like it's also the same time as like maybe you're like he was saying, he doesn't want to turn into his dad. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah totally, totally. But it was like you're getting he was overcompensated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that also hurts in that sense too, right? Totally. Yeah, hurts yeah. Yourself, yeah. But like, yeah. At the same time, it's just more about realizing and accepting the experiences you have in this world. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yeah. Like <laughs> you know, what I mean, like there's no like changing it. It's like it, it is what it's gonna be. Right. You know. Right. I thought, I thought like in that sense, like that's why I liked it. Hmm. Uh, all of those kinds of topics. There were no, 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 that totally. That's why I didn't give it a one. Yeah, I gave it a four. <laughs> right, yeah. right, 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 right. Like the redeeming quality was those those like talks, mm -hmm. and like usually those talks will make me give you a really high score. But I just like I fell asleep. So I, I like, think. Oh, see, God. that's the thing. Like I like this movie could have been if it, I don't think it was going to be long enough for or it was. Uh, like it would feel it's too long right yeah but there would not be enough content if you did it for the masses just not right. enough yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, totally not true. enough length in that sense to for tell sure. the story yeah i got what you're saying so um you ever see waking life the movie i don't know it's actually, like a, it's know. like a half animation okay it's what do you call that where it's like cell animation where it's like it's like it's real but it's like cartoony mm-hmm you know, so like that whole movie was just philosophy. They just kept saying philosophical things. So right. like, the whole movie was like, whoa, this is intense. Mm. So it's like, it was almost like it would. See, if it was like that movie, I'd respect it. Like, I give that, that Waking Life movie like a 10, but only because they were just giving you one thing. But this one was trying to be philosophical, but at the same time, it was like failing on the creative side. Right, right. You know, the beginning was sick, but it's like, mm, you didn't keep that up for too long. Yeah, like. All those action things that were going on and the, the the fight on Moon. It was interesting, and that's what kept it, like, intriguing. But in then, the beginning. In the beginning. Yeah. And then once he leaves Mars, it's just, that's oh, when it goes, brutal. like, fully slow. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, I get also they're trying to get that this space journey is lonely, but also very long. Yeah. Like, you, we got that. Uh but then it was that was the whole rest of that movie. Right. Everything right. was moving slow. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, uh, you know, uh, like, again, like, they could have little things in between that caused, like, uh, for instance, in they were going to Mars, but on the way, uh, uh, like, from the moon to the Mars. They like they, save the... Like, they got, like, a... Um, uh, side mission. Side mission. <laughs> yeah. And then... So that caught us, oh, that's interesting. And then you could have had something maybe along the way or... Uh, I guess, yeah. Uh, maybe that side mission was, like, metaphorical. It's supposed to show you something like how we, like, affect animals or something. I don't know. Uh, or maybe, we thought it was an alien. I thought it was an alien, but then it was, like, not an alien. It was like or it was just to put him in that position in the driving seat. Oh, damn. Yeah, True. Hmm. Just so that the answer is so boring. <laughs> like, I was like, sometimes that's how I look at stories. Thing. Sometimes, it's like, oh, sometimes, it's not sometimes for stories, it's just something has to happen Straightforward. to get this character yeah. into that position. Let's just move you forward. So let's homie. do something like this. That'll be totally. a little bit interesting. <laughs> totally, totally. Yeah. Um, 
I like the dark matter thing. That was cool. Antimatter. Antimatter. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. I was like, yeah, because like, we, we already have that now, right? They're working on it. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, they'll just hone that and then like make a better version in the future. Right. I was thinking, yeah, you know, like, okay, maybe, I don't know, like his dad was actually not alive, but he was just visioning that he was there or something. Yeah, something see, a they, bit they, more. They didn't want to go science fiction-y. They wanted to go like literal science fiction. Yeah. They wanted to go science, no fiction. Right. Mm. Uh, yeah, I know. And then, it, even though uh, he still ends up losing his dad, right? That, that's like, there's no real solution in that sense, mm-hmm. other than what he told him, but that didn't help anyways, right? He was just too much involved into that. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah. That thinking, so. Uh, you know, I don't know. Like, still visually. Uh, interesting but i kept thinking about spacex and like where we potentially will go. you know what this is this movie has made me think of life okay remember that space movie with ryan reynolds yes oh, okay see okay. That's, that's that's life that that's life. what i was thinking about oh no not like like a literal life i mean like the movie <laughs> okay. called life i was thinking about that actually i was like oh this would be a good movie it was like life mm. you know or like gravity gravity uh was, never, was, was similar movie. to this. All right, what was that other big uh, old space movie that... Apollo 13? No, no, no. Like Armageddon? Like known in Space Odyssey? Or what was that one? 2001 Space Odyssey? Yeah. I haven't seen it. Like it's something like that. There was a lot of those types of... Introspections? Uh, boring scenes. Oh. <laughs> you know, <Just> like <laughs> space is cool. Like I... I like space in terms of, like, Cowboy Bebop. Right. You know, like, super advanced space where it's, like, mm-hmm. we're flying in the future. Mm-hmm. But, like, if it's space that's too close to now, it's just so boring. Because it's, like, we don't have space figured out, you know? Right, right. I mean, like, Mars and stuff was cool. Like, uh, Martian? Martian, yeah, yeah. No, that was a sick, that was, like, yeah. a great movie. Yeah. But, like, they were using science and stuff. Like, that wasn't... Even Interstellar, Interstellar space. Yeah, but that was, that was, like, science. you had... You were advanced because yeah. they had a giant spaceship, remember? Right. So, like... But, like, the way they did long-distance travel, it was... Not boring. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They're trying to be, um, what do you call it, authentic. Mm-hmm. But it was just, like, so poor. <laughs> no, because authentic is boring, you know? Like, nobody Yeah, they went the for authentic space. and... Uh... Like I, I like that how they were giving each other pills in order to fall asleep. Mm-hmm. Remember? That was kind of cool. Again, yeah, there's the, again, that's all it, about the authenticity, I guess. It, but you know what I was thinking about mm-hmm. in the space thing? Um, being in space is like being an animal, you're just so bored. Like, think about like, like Athena, yeah, she has nothing to do all day except <laughs> spend time, right? And like, before we invented like the clock mm-hmm. and like tasks for ourselves each day, yeah, all we had to do was spend time, so like being in space without falling asleep i see how that would make you go crazy yeah. like if you were a oh, train, yeah, yeah. if you were a master yeah. of like right. your mind mm-hmm. you know because ultimately it's just your mind that'll make you go crazy right yeah the loneliness and like the boredom mm-hmm. but like if you're a master of your mind like there's literally like you just you're just waiting yeah you know there's yeah. nothing to do you didn't even bring a damn book bro just bring some books <laughs> Right, right. I would have brought like books, movies, magazines. I was like, I would have at least filled up an iPhone <laughs> with Netflix. Right, right. You know what I mean? Like, finish a series, bro, while you're up there. Mm-hmm. Do you think astronauts do that? They like They'll have them. books or something. Yeah, of course they have. They, they have to entertain themselves. Yeah. Like. Oh, you don't know. They do. They do. They do. You just can't. I was. What the hell's the goddamn point? Yeah. Oh, it, you can't promote it because then it's like commercial. It's like. No. Uh, just not about that. I think it's just. Uh, if if I was with an astronaut, I mean, they wouldn't be filming at that time, right? You're just totally, totally, totally. Um, I, I would ask them like, how would you entertain yourself while you're up there? Mm-hmm. Oh, if you ask them, if you had like a question, you right. ask an astronaut. That'd be yeah. that'd be like something I want to know, or like, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, the entertainment one, because I was like, I felt so bored for him. Uh So it was just like brutal. Right, right, right. Yeah. Is there anything that like stood out to you where you're like, oh, this this was a bad part of the movie? Um, Bad part of the movie? Second half. The second half? The slow bit? Yeah. Uh, 
I mean, like, it was visually cool. There was nothing wrong with the slow bit. It was just too slow. It was just boring. Yeah, like, you could show that, but the, the I don't know how long that was, but the fact that it was that long. And you know what it was? You could have cut it. Yeah. It was his tone. Yeah, his, that's like, what the thing. monologues. Yeah. They were so... Everything like, in that was slow. Yeah, even Something the, the way could he was be, talking to himself yeah. was so slow. Yeah. The way he was moving yeah. was so yeah. slow. Yeah. Space was so slow. <laughs> like, all of it was just, like, so slow. It was brutal. You know, yeah, uh, yeah. I guess yeah. I know that's true. Uh, it, it's just funny that you know, with all that, it's still like you, you could have at least changed the tone somewhere. Like he could have been talking slow and be that calm level that he's supposed to be. Right. But then there could be uh, like you had it right in the beginning, but then it kind of went totally yeah in the wrong direction because he's with humans actually maybe that's what they're going for like in the beginning he's with other people right so there's like a lot going on but then when you're in space you're all alone so obviously it's gonna be naturally boring plus there was no one else in the ship with him yes it was like which made it boring. yeah exactly there was no interaction nothing to add other than just a monologue you know it'd be really funny if like let's say like you find out what brad pitt was thinking and he's thinking all the things that we're saying right now he's like yeah it was meant to be like that yeah it was meant to be like that. yeah of course like when you're with people it's exciting them you know what i mean like yeah. and you're like no no he, he's like i'm glad you guys got it but at the same time like like it depends if it's an art piece you're trying to sell a message or yeah. if you're trying to like um entertain us right. so from an right. entertainment perspective it's like no but from like a art piece wise it's like i totally get it yeah you know. Yeah, it's not for every and everyone. If you want those art pieces, that's if, if you're looking for a Friday night fun, don't check this one out. Yeah, this is not that. And I think it we felt like that. It wasn't. It was in theaters, but it wasn't um, really talked about. It isn't really advertised. Right. Yeah. Much, totally. Right? Totally. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Final thoughts. Uh, final thoughts. I mean, space is boring. I guess. Not. Not if you're Elon Musk. Or if you're oh, playing right. through the filter of Elon Musk. Yes. Just like driving. It's fun. <laughs> you can play video games. If you have a Tesla, uh, you can get it to mm-hmm. dance. Yeah. All these things. Uh, final score? I'll stick with the seven, I think. Seven? Um, yeah. Hmm. I want to give it lower, like a three, but I feel like four is appropriate. <laughs> so so what's the average of that? Seven plus, so 11 divided by two is... 5.5 something so, in between so, yeah. so i got a 5.5 it's like it's a toss it's up. decent actually no 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 that that's perfect because if you if you're looking for an art piece movie definitely check this out but if you're looking for from some friday night fun don't check it out yeah perfect 50 50 yeah but it's slightly on the boring side that's why it's not a straight 50 50 mm-hmm. it's 5.5 mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah see how i rationalize that there sure yeah um <laughs> yeah so uh once again to reiterate check out this this podcast sponsored by uh, zen real clothing co use the offer code sg podcast all caps for 20 percent off your purchase sounds very good yeah art with a message um yeah leave it with that till next time we're gonna check out joker next week Ooh, excited yeah it is the day before my birthday, but it's also going to be on my birthday. We're going to check out Joker. Mm. Podcast probably be on the day after, though. Okay. Um, yeah, so look out for that. Um, this one got super high at some uh, George Tiff. Oh, I was like, what? What, what was the thing? Sunday? Tiff. Yeah, I, know, I was thinking Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. I was like, what's the S one? But it's not that one. No, it's uh, um, Tiff, yeah. Tip, Sundance, all those guys. It was pretty high. So Yeah, so we got like 9.5 or something. Something really high. Cool. So we'll check it out. So we're going to find out if Bruce Wayne's father is actually in it and if Joker is meant to be the real Joker or if it's like an influence of it. Mm-hmm. Maybe this is not canon at all. We watch it. It's like nothing to do with the Batman series. Yeah, we'll see. That would be so interesting. Or what if it's like... Because I didn't watch any spoilers on it. I'm not watching anything yeah. on this. So watch it be like... There's not even a Batman movie. Right. It's like it's like a or he reads the Batman comic and he's influenced by Joker. Mm. I don't know, I'm just thinking too like <laughs> yeah. too meta for this, yeah. Yeah, maybe just take it simple. Just let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. All right, till next time. Cool. Uh stay hungry, stay foolish. Yes. Steve Jobs has nothing to do with space. 
N- no, yeah. But he influenced Elon, Elon Musk. Elon Musk, yeah. Yeah, so there's, there's <laughs> the connection. See how I brought that together? Yes. All right, till next week. Cool. Uh, same time, same bad channel. Bye. Bye.